Sad news in northern Kentucky tonight as residents in Villa Hills are learning of the death of a 20-year-old soldier from that community. Private First Class Charles Fetzer was found dead in his barracks this morning at Fort McNair in Washington, D.C. Nine News reporter Jay Warren is live at Dixie Heights High School where Private First Class Fetzer attended. Jay? Well, Clyde Fetzer was just home last week, according to his family, on leave, but he became very ill and, in fact, was diagnosed with mono. Now, he left yesterday to go back to Fort McNair. He served as a honor guard at Arlington National Cemetery. Now, family members tell us that he didn't report for duty this morning, and when someone went to check on him, he was unresponsive. Fetzer's family tells us that he was a classic Army success story, a kid who wasn't much interested in school, but who managed to get his GED and then enlisted into the Army, where by all accounts he flourished. He was helping give fallen soldiers the honor that they deserved, and even recently talked about a career as an electrician. Very proud of him, yeah. You know, it was a rough start, a rough few years there. But I, I, I knew when I, we went out his graduation, I knew he was going to be all right then because, you know, he, he went down a little boy, but boy, he was he was a man one the time we got there. Yeah, he was. Uh, yeah, I was real proud of him. Now, at this point, we do not know definitively how he died or what caused it. The Army is still in the middle of their investigation, though Mr. Fetzer tonight tells us that he will be meeting with an Army representative tomorrow where he hopes to get more information. Clyde and Carroll. All right, Jay Warren reporting live for us this evening. A body